Providing trending products on Etsy is a great way for you to make quick sales if you are a brand new shop and it can actually make or break your shop scaling if you know exactly what to target. So in today's video, I wanna share with you my top secret way to find trending products on Everbee. I'm gonna share with you how easy it is to find multiple in-demand products on Etsy that are selling right now. I'm sure it's all with you coming up next. Welcome back to my video, my friends. You're new here, my name is Jay. And on this channel, I teach you how to make income online by creating and selling your own products. So if you like content like this, then consider subscribing to my channel. Now, the main tool that we're gonna use to help us do our product research to find these trends is Everbee. Everbee is a great tool to use if you want to know the background data in regards to sales, favorites, likes, and even seeing when a product was released. All of these data points help me make my decision in regards to what designs I need to create for my product and start listing those designs on my Etsy shop. Now, if you wanna try out Everbee on your own, I make sure I leave all the details in my description box below. If you want to follow along with me and try this out for yourself and to see if it is best, for your print on demand business. If you look on Everbee, this product has received zero sales for the month as well as zero sales for the total sales. However, the view count is high and the favorite count is high. And if you look at this, you may say this is a terrible product to create. But when I open this up in Etsy, Etsy tells me this is a best selling product. That means it must generate some sales in high volume for it to make the best sellers badge. Plus, Etsy is telling us six people bought this in the last 24 hours. This is how you are able to find trends before they actually be made visible on the large marketplace like etsy and i want to share with you how to find multiple products just like this that can generate for you tons of sales as well all right so here we are in etsy and one of the first things that we want to do is go into the search bar and type up a specific niche or a profession in our case today we're going to focus on teacher and i like to combine teacher with the season so in our case today we're going to bring in the christmas season here and as you see here etsy already auto populated for us the search phrase teacher christmas shirt because that is what people are typing in and so right now the ever be extension tool is giving me further data in regards to how many people is searching up this particular phrase per month so again this is you know a number that's going to grow over time because obviously as we get closer to the christmas holiday christmas season then more people are going to type this in nonetheless though etsy is already showing us that this is auto populated because this is a popular phrase people are typing in so from here i want to click and see the results and automatically you will see that the competition is extremely high right over a hundred thousand search results coming up but the reason why that is so high is because we are extremely broad in the search term that we're focusing on teacher christmas shirt we didn't get into all the micro niches here like you know first grade shirt or some type of phrase we're searching extremely broad and the reason why i search broad is because from here i'm able to see over a large span of products what is doing well what has been recently released and what is trending so i know where to design my product so i'm not concerned about the competition here i just want to look very broad to see what is doing well and from what is doing well we can actually pick out some micro niches so from here i like to go over to everby and look up their product analytics tool as this is going to show me a large amount of data over multiple products here that's on the first couple of pages. So from here, there's a lot of information that we see with product photos. We see the product name, shop name, price, monthly sales, monthly revenue, and all these type of things here that's really giving us a lot of data. What I like to do if I'm trying to target specific trends coming to the Christmas season or whatever season that we're in, I like to customize my view to look at specific things that's going to help me determine what products I need to create. So I'm not concerned about product name. I'm not concerned about listing reviews. I'm not concerned about price or the shop name itself. What I am concerned about is the monthly sales, the total sales, the listing age, and the number of favorites that specific product has. And if I wanna go a step further, the you know age of the shop itself. So you can go ahead and filter how you want to see these things here, and then we'll come back and look at our results. So here are the data points that we're gonna focus on to really find some trends here for our specific area. Again, we're looking at six, the monthly revenue, total sales, listing age, 
number of favorites, number of views in the shop age. Now I'm really looking at three main areas here, truly when I'm trying to find trends, it is the monthly revenue, the listing age, and the number of favorites. Now, the reason for this is that if a product has been listed in the past 30 days and it has a large favorite count, and no sales that I know that this is actually a trending product because the number of favorites is always leading to a large amount of sales. So again, if I see sales are low, but the favorite number is high and the date of the product is only 30 days or less, I know this might be a potential trending product I need to focus on and bring it to my shop. So let me share with you how I do this here. I want to start here with listing age. And I just want to find everything that has been made in the last 30 days. Again, it says a month old, but it could be three days old. It could be 15 days old, but it's definitely hitting the peak of 30 days. So this is what I mean by here, like this product here, zero monthly sales, obviously zero total sales. It's in the 30 days that it was listed, but I have 68 favorites and I even have some views here. Now, when I click on this, you might say, well, there's no point of us creating this or even looking at this because it has no sales. That's not technically true. Again, if it has a large number of favorites, it will then have some sales to back up that data. So when I look at this from Etsy side, that yes, it's missing the best of this badge, but it gives us some indication that this product has been purchased in the last 24 hours and three people bought this. So again, this product may have just released in the last five days, the last 10 days, and had not enough sales to show the best of this badge, but it does give us that indication that this is actually trending. People are buying this recent product and it's showing here on Etsy with this little note here. Again, if I were to go in uh, ever be a little bit further, you would see zeros across the board here. Zero total sales, zero monthly sales, zero reviews. But when I look at these two metrics here in regards to favorites and view count, if the favorites are high, I know somewhere along the way, this is getting sales and the Everview tool is catching up to the sales that people are getting. Again, if the view count is high as well, that means something is great with the SEO and views leads to favorites, favorites lead to sales. So as I go down here, I'm looking for a specific product that has a large favorite count and stays within the last 30 days of a product being listed. So this one here, as you can see, listing age is, is within the month that we have, but already I see a great indication of the amount of favorites spiked up extremely high here over 2000 favorites for this particular listing. And again, Everbee has caught up with the sales here, showing me that already within the 30 days being listed, it has received almost 800 sales. All right, so let's scroll down and see if we can find another product. And here we have one here. Again, this one is within the month being listed, has a large favorite count. And in the last month, it received 62 sales. So again, when I see the, the view count, you know, over 10,000, Again, the favorites, you know, super high over 500. And I know this is a product that is doing extremely well. And here's just a quick note here. If you ever, you know, question, hey, can I still, you know, get started on SE and still make decent money? The answer is yes. This shop is only four months old. And in the first listing that we have here, it's already generating sales. So again, we definitely want to learn from the listing, see if we can do anything unique with this to bring something new into the marketplace. So of course, I want to open this up here and again, see if we see any data points from Etsy to prove that this is generating sales. Again, we see a best sellers badge. And again, this is what I really want to bring to note. All these products that we're talking about today all have these indications of Etsy is telling us it is in demand. That means people are buying this product in the last 24 hours. So again, the Everbee tool is catching up to the sales, but we can still see some unique things on Everbee's end in regards to favorites to identify trending products such as this. So again, 12 people bought this in the last 24 hours. Again, we know multiple people are buying this because again, it has a bestsellers badge and it's giving us that red mark here, letting us know it is in demand. Now, a little side note, if we are looking at this type of product, right? We know this product is very cool. We have books, you know, formulating a specific Christmas tree and it has this phrase, all book for Christmas. As an Etsy seller, what I look at when I see this is, okay, what can I do to generate a product similar like this, but yet given some variation difference? And so automatically I think about two things. I think about the element and I think about the phrase. If this is generating sales in the past 30 days or even within that time frame, there's something about this product that's doing well. So I like to go to Creative Fabrica and plug certain things in to determine if I can find similar items like this that I can recreate this in my own unique way and bring something new into the marketplace. So here I am in Creative Fabrica and all I did here was put in, you know, book Christmas tree. And here's just some unique elements that came up. Again, this is something easy to do if you're having a tough time identifying what elements to search up. Just take that same phrase and plug it into a you know, software like Creative Fabrica. You can use some great AI tools to generate new things if none is available. But here it is, right? We have a Christmas tree 
lay it out with some books this specifically is geared towards a cat lover but that in itself can be an entirely new trend entirely new product you create but again look at all these different variations a different type of christmas trees we can add to our design take that same type of phrase but then again we're adding something new into the marketplace by adding in that specific niche which is a cat lover same thing here we can see just a small variation difference here we have some books formulating a christmas tree we can add that into our product as well and definitely add in some personalization to this to make this stand out even more so again if we know this christmas tree book is doing well we can add this to a specific grade level or we can add this to a teacher's niche or to a nurse niche to a new mom adding in that personalization can allow this product to be extremely huge in value for the customer and same thing here all we did was plugged in a book christmas tree and now you see we have a ton of different variations here that we can start selling on our own product so again being mindful of this is that we can definitely add in some new changes here definitely bring in some new value points but still stay in line with what is doing well if this is generating sales again 570 favorites over 10,000 views. Again, the Everbee tool is catching up to the sales, but it's still giving us some great indications we would not have seen unless we have tools like this. This is a great spot for you to make some sales. And so finally, as I go through this list here, again, we're just talking about the teacher Christmas niche. There's multiple different niches you can do this for to identify trends. But again, you definitely want to look at the number of favorites and see what things are popping up and things that's popping out. Again, be mindful, of course, if it's an SVG, stay away from that because you're focused on selling t-shirts, but you definitely want to go down the list and see what is doing well. Here's another product here too, matter of fact, that's in front of us here. We have this shirt here within the 30 days of being listed, 556 favorites, and again, 200 sales in the past 30 days. This one here, 183 favorites, again, 18 sales in the past 30 days. Be mindful, however, of the view count because again this may have been released seven days ago but have received a lot of sales and favorites so far this may have been released 29 days ago and it has those sales so far so i'm always a fan of looking at the data but opening this up to confirm that data with etsy to see what is selling well so with this one here i'll open this one up and again if you notice we have another indication from etsy everything we're talking about today is showing us that red demand 12 people bought this in the last 24 hours this will be a great product to create again different variations with different trees different personalizations have yourself a merry little christmas and you can have a specific family's name on the bottom of this easy ways for you to take trending designs and adding in personalization to add in that unique feature here changing the basic tree around go back into creative fabrica just search up here christmas tree and it's just that easy to find different elements you can add in here we know these are already doing popular here we can take in something like this this whole you know collection of trees and add it to our design and again that's just one easy way to add in some variation but still fall in line with things that are trending going back to our list here we see this shirt is doing well again look at the favorites and match them up with the listing date less than 30 days or within the 30 day mark 18 sales so automatically you might look at this and say oh that's not a good product to create but if we open this up and look at the data on etsy side we see a best sellers badge this is consistently getting sales and again seven people bought this in the last 24 hours we're not even in the peak of christmas season and people are already buying this type of product so we have to look at trends in a different way just don't look and see how many people bought this in the last 30 days look at the favorites so it can lead you to these view counts here let's go a little bit further look at the view count again in the past 30 days again it could have been 10 days, 12 days, could have been four days. But again, we see the view count is great. We know the SEO is good. We see the, the favorites. We know the design is good. And we can pair up different designs that we see working well. Jump right back into Creative Fabrica. We can plug in some things here with gingerbread, all these type of things that is, is offering tons of value for our customers here. And we can definitely bring something new into the marketplace. So again, there's a lot of opportunity, I believe, to be made to find these trending items. Again, the Averby tool really speeds up that process if you know what to look for, if you know what to target, and if you know what to pull out. So just one more note before we close up this video. You know, you might see something like this here, just for instance, zero sales for the month. This is why if you are doing trend research, it's not always best to categorize or filter your product research by monthly sales. The reason for this is that if I were to look at this product, it has zero sales for the month. 
obviously it's listed in the, in the first 30 days, zero total sales, then you will write this off and say, this is not a good product to create. However, if you understand what to look for, which is the favorites and the view count, you could see how this product could possibly have been released six days ago. And this product has received almost 3000 views and it's a brand new shop, only four months old. What we have learned is that the favorites will lead to the views. The views will lead to the sales. So notice how we have zero sales here, but if we click on this, we always prove things with the data on Etsy. Here we have a best sellers badge. How could it be a best seller without any sales? It has to have sales. If you hover over this with Etsy, it says this item has had a high sales volume over the past six months. Now we know obviously this has not even been around for the past six months. It just been released in the past 30 days, but it's generated enough sales for Etsy to say this product is actually getting a lot of conversions, a lot of sales. Therefore it is a best seller. It has high sales volume. And we know from ever beside it's just in the past 30 days. And again, within 30, days it could have been a month it could have been 14 days it could have been two days but here's the point notice how we still have the red in demand and six people bought this in the past 24 hours this is taken into account all zeros across the board zero sales zero monthly sales zero revenue zero reviews all these things are given a zero, but if you notice, where are the numbers in the favorites and in the views? So that means you can easily identify this trend and be one of the first and one of the few Etsy shops to release similar items like this that can generate sales. If you notice here, we have the same type of you know deal being made here, a Christmas tree made out of different elements. We saw one with books. Now we see one with crayons. And you can begin to imagine what are some other elements you can create a Christmas tree out of that can be trending as well. Again, get ahead of the trends and don't allow the monthly revenue or the monthly sales that zero to keep you from potential items that can generate for you tons of sales. Now, if you want to try out Everbe on your own, I'm actually leave all the details in my description box below for you to test this out and to see if it is best for your print on demand business. So as you can see, finding top trending products before they even be mainstream on Etsy, it's really easy to do with Everbe. Once you target those specific areas like release date, looking at the favorites and the number of views, this can actually lead you to top trends where you are able to get ahead of the marketplace in regards to the products you release. Now in today's video, I didn't have time to go over how to actually create your own print on demand product to get started on Etsy. However, if you want to learn that next step, click this next video here. And if you want to learn more about how to make income online, then consider subscribing to my channel here. As always, my friends, my name is Jay, and I will see you in the next video.